Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import any of the OBJ 3D model into Unreal Engine 5 with the proper collision settings so that your game player can interact properly with the 3D assets. At the same time, I'm going to show you how to set up all of the material properly like the diffuse color, normal maps, roughness map so that all of these 3D materials will make your 3D model really stunning. At the same time, your player avatar can interact with the 3D model that you imported into your game project. So start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step. Now, I will let you see that I have a 3D model. This is an OBZ. Just have a look. This is an OBZ file that it is compatible with all types of the 3D software, for example, the Maya, Blender, etc. This is an OBJ file. Then I have these four, these four UV texture that is already made for this 3D model. It already made for this 3D model. And then how to bring it to Unreal Engine 5. So, I'm going to close this original game project. I'm going to show you the step by step. Just start from the beginning, start from the Android editor with a fresh new game project. Everything will just start from beginning. Now, this is the Unreal Engine 5.3.2. And as demo, I'm going to just start a fresh new game project, a third person project. Then I click create. This is just a demo. Now, this fresh new game project is loading and it is initializing. Just wait for a few seconds, it will be ready. Right, now it is almost ready. This is the fresh new game project. Then, the first step, what you need to do is just go to the window, content browser. To call out the content browser once, drag and drop to the bottom. The next, click the contents. So now it is ready for you to import the OBZ. I'm going to show you the step by step. So you have to follow every single step so that it will make everything faster. So now under the content folder, right click to create a new folder. And I'm going to name this as sample sample model 01 I double click this is an empty folder that just created by me then I'm going to drag in the OBZ the OBZ name is star01 and just check off the material already named properly for example star01 base color star01 metallic star01 roughness star01 normal all of this material texture later I'm going to show you how to set it up so first, just drag in the OBZ. Then, this is a prompt to import the contents. The first step, what you need to do is, under the rotations, the first ones, under the rotation, you set it as 90. This is the first step. Because for most of the cases, if you set it as the 90, all of the angle will be okay for, for it. All right, next, click import. Now you can see the stair 01 is already here. So I drag and drop into the scene. Then I press R so that I can rescale it to a suitable scale. I drag here. Alright, then I press the blue, then I can move it. Alright. Now you can see all of the materials textures are not yet ready. You have to import it manually. The texture is here. I double click to check it. So under the, the sample model 01 folder, I right click to create a new folder, name this as material. Right. Better separate in a new folder. I right I double click it. Next, for all of these four 3D model, I press Ctrl A to select all of this drag and drop into the material folder 
it is going to import all of these materials. All right, next. Just check which one is the base color or what we call the diffuse. Drag and drop into here. Then you can see it is going to create the material immediately. But for this time, these materials are, are not included the normal, the roughness and metallic yet. But you can see it already created a material at here. Double click the material. Then you can see the base color is already there. Next, what you need to do is check whatever resources that you have. For example, the metallic, normal, and roughness. You have three more. So to set this up, just check that. Metallic, drag, drag it out. Then type texture sample. You have the texture sample here. Then click this part. Under the texture, go and select the name, stair. The stair01 metallic texture is here. All right. So we've done this. Next is the roughness, drag and drop to here as well. Then type texture sample. Choose the texture sample. Click here. Under the texture, choose the roughness. So is this a roughness? Yes, this is the roughness. So you have to choose the roughness from here. The stair 01 roughness. Right now. Next, left the normal. Drag and drop here. Texture sample. Click here, choose the Stair01 normal. So now you can see every, every material resources here, you already set it up properly. Click save and then close. Now just have a look. All of the material already set up properly. It already have the normal surfaces with the roughness and metallic. And it is different from just now already. Now it look PBR, it look realistic. And then for these moments, if you try to play, then you can see the collisions is not yet set up properly. You cannot let the player to interact with this 3D model. So the next step is to set up the collision, the collision properties. Back to the sample model 01s, you can see the static mesh is here. In order to set up the collisions, you have to just double click it, then drag down here until you can see the collisions. The collisions, all of the collision setup are here. Click. Then, next, the collision complex setting. You have to make sure you choose use complex collisions as simple. Once you choose this, then all of the collision setting will just follow all of the faces on this 3D model. Just click save and close. Now, you try to play, you can see the player already can interact, interact properly with this complex collision setting. Now, you already can make it as a game asset. Alright. So now this, this 3D model already become the game assets. But of course not this. This one you not yet set the material. So go to the sample model 01, double click it. You not yet assign the material. So just figuring figuring out the material here, what is the name? The staircase, all right. So the stair one is the material name. You double click here to make sure you set the material properly as the stair, the stairs material, the stairs zero one base color. So this is the final setup of the material. You try to save and close. Now this 
3D model, you already done the material setup. Next, you delete everything from here. This stand 01 already become the game assets. If you use it anytime, for example, you drag the big one at here, and you drag one at here, and you press press R to make it small, drag and make it small like this. Or we we'll just follow the follow the, the material and then also follow the collision setup properly. For example, this this one is taller. You cannot jump, but once you you cannot direct walk up, but if you jump, it still follow all of the collision properly. Right. So this is after you rescale it, the player can just climb up, climb up the staircase. Everything really done properly. Just look at the material. It have the roughness. It have the, the normal map. It is exactly a PBR material. So in this tutorial, I already successfully show you how to import everything, included the OBJ material, the material texture, the OBJ 3D model, the 3D mesh into the Unreal Engine 5 with the proper collision setup and the proper material setup. Now this game asset is playable. The player avatar can just interact with this 3D model. And everything already become your game assets. And this is really awesome. This is one of the essential skills that you must learn in your game developing process. So that you can import any of the OBJ 3D model into Unreal Engine 5 to make it become a game asset. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, and sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you.